Hi everyone, um, I'm just going to do a video because I haven't done one in a while. I was a bit stuck on what to do, so I have to go to uni. So I'm going to show you how I'm going to do my hair. I'm just going to curl it, just using a, a curling wand. Um, I'll just show you some products and how I do it really. Um, all my other videos, you see my hair curly, which is how it naturally is. Um, so I've straightened it right, a couple of days ago, so it's gone all wavy. So I need to, I'm just going to try and curl it. Just make it look a little bit better. Um, I hope you enjoy the video and if you have any suggestions please just let me know. Thanks. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'll first just show you the pattern. This is the wand I'm using. It's the Babyliss Conical Wand. I got it for my birthday. Um, yeah, I got it for my birthday. I put it on the highest setting because I need my head to curl and it doesn't it won't work otherwise. It's a really good one. The only thing I don't like about it is the fact that the button's the button is here to turn it off. So when I'm holding it, sometimes I accidentally turn the button off, and it's a bit annoying because then nothing's happening. So yeah. Um, the products I'm going to use, I'm going to start off with the Tresemme Heat Defense. Um, just spray it all over my hair. I do that now. Uh, if I keep looking up, it's because I've got a mirror over there. I'm just going to spray that. And I look really washed out. Um, it's a bit dull here. It's not a very nice day. It's getting messy. Okay, so I've just brushed that out just to kind of protect my hair. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to section it off. I usually do the bottom first. And kind of go up towards the top. We'll just do a little top part. Yeah. And the next thing I do, <coughs> my voice is going. Oh, I'm gonna get ill. Um, next thing I do is I take one section like that, give it a bit of a brush. My hair's pretty long, if I just put it down a little bit, like that, um, yeah. and then I'll take a little section, not too little, kind of, you don't want to be holding, kind of like that. It does come with a glove, I might put the glove back, back on, I have a tendency to burn myself. So yeah, it does come with a glove, which is quite good but I find even with the glove on it still burns me and it melts me in no polish so I'm just going to take the hair like this and I'm going to start off with the base and I'm just going to wrap it around until it reaches the bottom just like that and I'm just going to hold it um, usually I hold it I'm quite bad I hold it for quite a while because my hair will drop really easily, so it needs to be quite um, held on for a while. But that should be right. And then what I do is I slide it off and just hold it for a little bit. And this, at this point, you can hairspray it, but I'm not going to. So I just hold it, and then it comes out like that. And then you just take the next section, and I don't do any particular sections. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Um, I just kind of grab a piece and do it because I don't like it all to be the same. I like like different sections to be thicker, so it's a bit more natural. Like I just woke up and it was like this. I wish. So yeah, that's the next section. If it's thicker, hold it a bit longer, just so that it kind of takes the curl a bit more. See, and I just press the button, and then just take it off. See what I mean? I've just pressed the button and turned it off. It's really annoying when it comes to that. They should have thought about putting the button somewhere. But yeah, so then we have one more. Oops. 
then take another section and do the same and I'm just going to do this all around my head I might speed it up um, just because I doubt everyone wants to see me doing this all over my head and kind of show you when I get to the top bit but I'll do one more and then I'll just pull it off hold it for a bit and then let it go so that's kind of one side done now I'll do this side I always do one side better than the other this side never comes out well I don't know what it is so there we go again just hold it and then I'll just and loosen it and then pull it off and then hold it for a little bit and then let it go I think I'll just show you this bottom section and then I'll speed up the rest of the video and then when I get to the top I'll show you and then how I like to finish it off so that's another one And my hair is just falling out. Has anyone used the um that kerosene keratine oil? Or something like that. Some oil which I heard it's really good for your hair, but it's really expensive. I'm not sure if I should get it. I've kind of been avoiding using heat. I used to straighten my hair a lot, like all the time, all the time. Um, and then I thought it's just really damaging my hair. That's why I started to leave my hair a lot more natural. Um, so just like, just wash it and leave it. But I can't seem to change, so I straightened it the other day. But I don't really like it straight anymore. I still like it curly. So this is the last bit from the back. And I hope everyone can see. I'm sorry, this is my first attempt at a hair tutorial. <laughs> and then there you go. There, so now you have kind of loose, wavish kind of curls. And I'm just going to do that to the rest of my hair. I'll speed up the video and I'll show you.
Böyle. Okay. So this is kind of the final hedge foil. Um, it's just kind of wavy. And I can just I I I wear my hair on either side. Right. I can put it that side and piece of hair is usually behind my ear. Cool. Yeah. Kind of thing. So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was helpful and you kind of got something from it. Um Sorry, I'm gonna ignore my hair and just keep playing with it. But yeah, I hope it was helpful. Um, I would list everything in the down bar. It's really easy to do and you can control it so you can have it a lot looser or you can have it a lot tighter. My hair drops quite easily so it will become a lot looser. Um, and I hope you enjoyed it everyone and I hope it was helpful. Please let me know if it wasn't or if you'd like me to do something else or any suggestions. They're much welcome and I hope you have a lovely day. Bye.